Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Adarsh here with us, who's recently got into Evanti as a, an intern and FTE through his campus placements. So he's here to share his interview experience with us. Evanti is a super dream company in VIT, which is its salary is greater than 10 lakhs. Okay. So now let's look at the eligibility criteria. The branches eligible were CSC, IT, and all circuit branches. Uh, 10th and 12th marks were supposed to be 70% or 7 CGP above. The same in college with no standing arrears. Now let's talk to him. Hi Adarsh, welcome to my channel. Uh, firstly, congratulations on your placement. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So, hi everyone. Uh, so, myself Adarsh. Currently, I am doing my B.Tech from B.A.T. Chennai in the branch of computer science with a CGP of 8. And uh, currently, I am working as an intern in university technology as a software developer. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now you can tell us about the hiring process. How many rounds are there, and what were the rounds? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like you and me, came to our college like in the month of August, and all the eligibility criteria is only computer science and ECM branch were allowed. Uh, the CGPA cutoff was uh, six, and uh, so the first round comprised of general online round. Okay. Uh, it was in one hour round and consisted of three only coding questions, no mm. MCQ. Mm. And uh, luckily for me, the selection criteria for the next round was the time in which we have some computer okay. uh, questions on, and not CGP because as I mentioned earlier, my CGP is, which is quite low in VIT standard. Mm. So whoever solved three questions below 30 minutes, we were able to go to the next round and question were very difficult, hardly read code medium level question. Okay. So this was the online now. Mm. And uh, coming to the interviews, the interviews are three round, all three of them are technical only. Oh. And the last five minutes of the third round maybe a little bit of a job. Okay. But it will purely based on technical. So mm. first round was uh, consisted of three DSA questions. Okay. Uh, one was a Tower of Hanoi question Hanai uh, another was serialized, deserialized, hmm. binary tree, and third one was some I think general implementation question. I don't remember exactly. Okay. And uh, coming to core part, uh, even the mainly asked question around networking and operating system. Okay. So questions were filled with only networking and operating system, and few software development life cycle mm -hmm. questions, the basic, very basic question. Okay. So this was the first one. Mm. Second also was also similar to first round, but the only catch was in coding we were not allowed to use library. Oh. Okay, so like it was a very really long round, about 1.5 hours, oh. because everything we have to write from scratch. So okay. questions weren't that difficult, like there was a question on binary search tree, but we had to like implement binary search tree from scratch. Oh, okay. So it takes a little bit of time, yeah. and we are not used to that much. Uh, writing from scratch right mm -hmm. and another question was also like related to uh, like you should so I used to I solved it using priority queue only mm -hmm. but it had to question type because I had not seen the implementation of priority queue from scratch from keep and also mm -hmm. it took me a little time to implement mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and another third one was a basic map implementation question mm -hmm. not that tough. Okay. and like the core subject again the same only like networking operating system and two software development life cycle questions okay. no uh, DMS or oops were asked in many of the rounds. Okay. Uh, the third technical round didn't have any uh, DSA questions, so only core subject question. Okay. But uh, like it was kind of if not like uh, we had a discussion on segmentation for mm. C plus plus memory layout. Then mm. it was a short round around thirty minutes. So okay. first twenty to twenty five minutes were technical and last uh, five minutes were uh, HR questions. Oh. Like basic HR where do you see that all. So after uh, after giving all the rounds and uh, basically first two rounds everyone gave mm. then HR I think about 50% of people who, who gave the second round gave, went to HR round. Mm. So after the result also before I tell you uh, 70 uh, out of 1100 students who applied in online exam mm. 70 students were shortlisted for interview okay. and out of 70 18 got the opportunity to Okay. And yeah, uh, luckily, so I was one of them. Okay. So that's it for the moment. Okay. So, uh, f uh, 
yeah okay so the two rounds the three rounds two rounds were uh, most majority was coding and then the third round majority was uh, technical yeah, cs based questions yeah. okay okay so thank you for sharing your experience uh, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into vivanti uh, not specifically for vivanti mm. but generally for on campus in vivanti mm. i would like to suggest is uh, try to get your cgpa as high as possible because initial specifically in the first Slot one companies mainly even though their cutoff is given six or eight, but because of the of the strength of the IIT, so many students, it mm. plays a major role. Mm. And if also you don't have that high CGP like me, then also don't have to worry that much. As long as you are like confident in your DSM core skill, mm. uh, maybe like first few weeks you might have to let company pass by, so mm. be patient at time. At time, but mm. eventually, if you are confident in one, then eventually you will get finished. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you so much again for coming and sharing your experience. Yeah.